so I don't know what TNA stands for. But, oh, Saturday, a rain day Sunday. Okay, so it's not raining on Saturday, so here we go. On the way to the art fair, and there's like this community um, yard sale. Like, so everybody's got their stuff out in the street, well, on their front porches. And they are just kind of like a, it's a whole community thing. Going up for a couple blocks. It's a little bit of everything. Woo! Yeah. You got some speakers. So yeah, TNA is for the neighborhood. I don't know. I don't know what TNA stands for. I'm thinking neighborhood, the neighborhood, something like that. Who knows? Maybe we should ask. Oh, here comes a car. Let's see if I, eesh. All right, so what do we see over here? We saw something over here that we were, oh, the TV table. I don't know if I want the TV table though. That's a pretty cool TV table right there. And it's okay. That doesn't even look like that crate's been used. Huh. How much is this? Is it 13? 13? $5. $5? Okay. Huh. That's, a, that's kind of cool. That, I could use that. I could use that. I don't do too much editing in the but that's five dollars right there that's a good deal all right let's continue So this is actually billed as the Brandywine Arts Festival. I'll show a sign. Very dog friendly. Brandywine Festival of the Arts. That's what it's officially called. All right, so we're heading on in now. Handicap parking. All right. Hey. Always the weekend after Labor Day, right there. Oh, it's five dollars admission. Of course. All right. So this is the 62nd Brandywine Arts Fair. Um, it's always the weekend after Labor Day. So. Right here, Brandywine Park, across from the park right here. So it'll give you all a little look and see what it is. Admission is $5, they have sponsors. There's plenty of places to eat food. Uh, it's dog friendly, as long as you have a friendly dog, right? So, and there are plenty of porters and I believe there's some on the other side. So let's uh, take a look at it. Last week we did the, the Arden. This week we are doing the arts fair. So what makes this kind of challenging is going through the crowds right here. Now this is a big crowd. I might have to disembark, but we will see how we can work this out. But you have local artists and you also have artists that are from different places. 
<laughs> All right, there we go. Michael Wallace, there you go. Let's see, it's got plenty of room and lots of different art going on. This is the main, let's call it the main promenade right here. So. <laughs> and when you say arts and crafts, it's not just paintings. You also have culinary arts, right? Jewelry, sculptors, right? Some nice watercolors and everything. Now, beyond this main area, you also have some food trucks over that way and other vendors. So you got some prints there. Quilting, cat quilting, two fat cats. <laughs> That's awesome. Not right now. Thanks. You got it. I almost feel like I should put a little light on my helmet. Just a fling, fling, fling. Look at this. We got, is it just glasses? No, I think they're actually selling wine there. Right? Gary V. They're kind of cool, right there. All right, so here we go. We have some of the food arts right there. Got some honey. High Point, local farm, local dairy farm right there. They also have a food thing right here, so. And if nothing else, if you want to just come here and walk around, it's a good it's a good day for a stroll. Now this is for two days, which makes it great. So, flu shots. Oh. Oh, okay. You can even come here and get your flu shots. Like you, it's like one stop shopping. Get your flu shots. Pick up some art. Supposed to support some local small businesses, right? It's always good. Spread the love, as I like to say. Hey, look at that. Um, I don't know what's going on over there, but there's a lot of dogs in crates, and there's two dogs in a crate. I'm not feeling... All right. Nice work, though. Look at that work. I hope it's very boring for you guys today. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, I think that was it. That was the main area right there. All right, we'll cruise down this way. So here are the other porta potties right here. So if the other ones are crowded, you can always come down this way and there's more of them. Here's the little rose garden. This rose garden is so, uh, it's all volunteers, right? <laughs> okay, so we'll do another pass and we'll go through the actual, um, underneath the tree section. I don't know what to call that, but we'll go underneath that. <laughs> I was already in. You're good. Thanks. All right, so here we go. So that was the main area over here. Let's go take a look at the puppies. All the little puppies. All right, so we're adopting puppies. <laughs> we got some pet adoptions over here. Okay, so adoptable dogs, Angel's Retreat. I'm not familiar with Angel's Retreat, but it looks like they're doing a good job here. Yeah. So there's a big playpen here. Ooh, look, we got the puppies.
So 62 years, so that's uh, what's that, Fifth? I don't know, 50 something, right? Oh, see, look, got caps. Ah, all right. Those are cool designs. Look at those designs right there. A, that's a good one right there. Got some more, is it on glass? Yeah, look at, oh, wow. This is some good depth in there, right? You're not gonna be able to see that in the camera, but there's some good stuff in there. And here we go, nice. Wow. And we got some plants and uh, feeders. So the ground's really not that wet. It was a big storm last night, but the ground, ground's still nice and firm. So we're good with that. Grace Inspired Creations. Oh, okay. Or if, if they're talking Grace the Person, oh, that's nice. Got candles. <laughs> Got some earrings right there. Fiber. Oh yeah, I smell wood. Look at that. Oh, we got bracelets, hat. Oh. No fun with. Oh, we got a little bit of everything here. Okay, hello. Look at that. At the food trucks, you got a couple of restaurants that are setting up their stands. So this is the uh, eating area, and over there you got cluck stops here. Got some herbs, LC Farm, olive oil. Got some water ice, meat and seafood, ribeye fish fry. The Brandywine Festival of the Arts is a great time. It's just fun to just go out there and stroll, meet people, see the different arts hang out, get some good food, and great scenery. So if you're ever in town the weekend after Labor Day, come on through. And that was the art fair. Take care. So that goes on for two days. And it is the weekend after uh, Labor Day. Hey, do me a favor. Hit the like button and subscribe if it's your first time here or you're not subscribed. Really do appreciate it and it helps out the channel a lot. Thanks for watching this video and until next adventure, remember, take care of each other, peace out, and I will see you all soon.